Hello everybody, it's Diane. It's Monday and I went to the Monday flea market before I went to work today. Last week, um, as I said, it was uh, Labor Day and it was rainy, so there were very few vendors there, which was a disappointment because Labor Day should have been a big day there. So I went back today to see how it was and it was actually, they had more vendors there than there have been pretty much all summer. So, um, I did not buy a lot. Um, I'm not in. I'm not looking for much. But I did purchase. I, I made purchases from three vendors. So the first was this bunch of fabric. It was all in one uh, box, and it was two dollars for the box. So I couldn't leave it there. So I'm going to show it to you, and then I will wash and iron it. So first, I'm going to show you the non-cotton thing. So this is like a purple satin, really pretty color. And this, I love the flowers. I do wish it was a cotton. You can tell by the threads here that it's polyester. But really, really pretty. And there's a good size piece there. And there's some red satin. And a copper colored satin. That's beautiful. And those are good size chunks. I threw away a jersey knit piece. Uh, then the rest are cottons. There's this yellow that is seersucker. Can you see the little, their little tiny fuzzy dots there? There's a good size piece of that. I'll be sharing some of these because I don't want big pieces. There's a piece of muslin and there's a turquoise blue. Very nice sturdy fabric. And the rest are prints. There's this blue print with animals on it. It's for making something for a baby. And this was a started project. Looks like a vest. It was a printed, maybe Daisy Kingdom, I don't know, but one of those printed panels that you buy that you cut out and then it has the instructions printed right on there. So it has sunflowers and, well I guess they're, they're Black Eyed Susans and bumblebees and the pretty background and then this crazy quilt at the at the bottom of it and then on the back is a big square with a pot of black eyed Susans so somebody started it but I'm gonna cut it apart and then there's some more pieces from it so there's some bumblebees that I can cut out this little patchwork piece this is, says Lisa Seely for Spring Industries. And that bias strip for button loops. And another bumblebee. And another large square. So that'll be fun to play with. This is a pretty good sized piece of a pretty bland fabric. I'm not sure I like the pattern very much, but there it is. It was in the it was in the box. This looks like it was curtains. Very interesting kind of fabric. And there's two of them. They're not very big, just small. Maybe it's a valance. I didn't open it all the way up. This one I like. It looks definitely looks vintage. And this is a good size piece too. This feels like there's quite a bit there and it's a plaid. There's a vintage calico piece, and a vintage brown calico, and stripes with little pink hearts. This is a, like a feathery print. This is bright. This is fun. I like that. This one has sheep and cats and teddy bears and geese. Very country. This is just a small piece, but I love that. And a pink and white stripe. This floral. Feels like an, oh, quite a bit there. And this floral stripe. 
quite a big piece and a red print kind of looks Pennsylvania Dutch and this one and this is vintage and cute and I think it's um, feet sack fabric my watch was stuck on the threads it's a little ladies made out of flowers isn't that cute not much there but I will have fun with it so that was from one vendor all of that fabric for two dollars the blue van man was there and he actually had some decent stuff I didn't even get to see all of it because they were still unloading his van he pulls in and and people come around and start helping him unload I helped him once or twice but I didn't have time, I had to go to work. So I went through his stuff and, and picked out this bunch and I was, you know, if I had time, I would have gone back to see what else they brought out, but I didn't. Besides, he's at one end of the field. I walk all the way to his end of the field so I can get to him first and then I walk my way back to the car. So I really didn't want to go back. So first of all, all of this was $7 for everything I got from him. So I didn't even actually go through this there were, I knew there were some things in there I would use. There's this silver trim. I can use that in Christmas journals and uh, as well as these. There's three different patterns of red and gold trim. There's some embroidery floss. Oh, there's another spool of this. Some crochet cotton. There's another wooden spool, and this is um, invisible thread, so it's plasticky. Okay, so this is the same ribbon that's on that. And there's a green pico, really pretty color of green, and a cream pico. The pico means, in case you don't know, it has those little loops on the edges. There's a silver wire, maybe blue thread, and some dusty rose pico lace and a really pretty cranberry colored pico lace, or ribbon, I mean. So that's about it for there. I wouldn't have paid much for that. I don't know how much he figured in his head. He just looks at what you have and then gives you a price for the whole bundle. So hopefully he didn't think high for this. <laughs> I thought seven was a little higher than he normally charges for a bundle of this size, but he's worth it. And then this, there was a, a huge quantity of this and I thought it was interesting, but I didn't want that huge quantity. And then I saw that there was a smaller piece, so I took that. It's just upholstery trim, but it's interesting, isn't it? I've never seen anything like that. There is, you know, quite a bit, and the other hunk that was there was a lot bigger than this. And then there was this little tin, well, it's not a tin, it's a plastic box of these sequin snowflakes. So with Christmas coming up, Christmas journals, I thought I'd pick those up. Some parchment paper envelopes with the jagged edge. About eight of those. This one has something in it. Oh, it's a wedding invitation. Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania. 1978. I got married in 1977. So I like the parchment. And I grabbed this book, 32 Dutch Windmills in Full Color. It has the history of the windmills and different types of windmills. So this will be interesting to read too. But look at those pictures. Aren't they pretty? 
the colors in them are is just the colors are beautiful. An old calendar. I love these old pages. And it's 1979, so it's not old, old, old. But and the pictures are pretty too. And they're small. They're just nice. It's just nice. Nice little calendar. And I don't really know what this is. I found it in three different boxes. I found the bottom with some of the pieces, and then I found some of the pieces in another box. And then in another box, further down the row, I found the top for it. <laughs> Copy fun, I think is what it, what it means. That's how I, you know, the weird spelling, but I think it's copy fun. Magic copy paper kit. Make your own cartoons. Chock full of fun for everyone. So it feels waxed. Somebody must have copied that one. There's a clown. Feels like tracing paper with wax on the back. There's some blank ones. I've never seen anything like this. Two big magic cartoon books. So, let's take a look at the cartoon books. Just rub. Oh, you don't even have to trace them, you just rub. Hmm. Here are the faces as originally drawn. Here are just a few of the thousands of possible faces which can be composed with the cartoon parts on the following pages. Ah! So you lay your wax piece down here and rub to transfer, and then you could put... Oh, that's cool. It has instructions right there. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so that was just something different. I figured I'd pick it up and take a look at it and have fun with it. Um, oh yeah, I went to that was two two vendors, and the third vendor. Remember all those science textbooks and things that I got? Well, those vendors were back, and I just got three books. This one I got because I got all the science textbooks. This says 1962, Science and Health Intermediate, and it's got different colors of pages, mostly blue and yellow, but there's a pink section. And it's all typed science stuff. I'm sure this was for the teacher, but I can use these as pages in the, the journals that I make with those science books. I won't use all of this, but I could put some in my shop if you guys are interested. But I just thought that was really cool. And these were a dollar a piece. Global Geography, I thought this would be a really fun glue book cover. The pages are so-so. There might be some, like I like that. It is a geography book, but there's not a lot of maps in there. It's just, you remember geography. You learn about the people and the uh, agriculture and minerals and all that stuff from each country that you're studying, each area that you're studying. But there are some <coughs> maps. But like I said, I, I thought this would be a really fun vintage looking glue book. And this would be a fun glue book too. Science is learning. A journal. I'll make a journal out of this one. Okay, so that's stuck there. And this is 
has really cool pictures inside. I'll use the pages too. 1961, originally 1944. This is a major revision of All Around Us, it says. <laughs> Look at those fun pictures. And that's it. That's what I got at the flea market today. Hope you had fun watching, and I'll be back again with a new project. I just started prepping stuff for covers for the for my next two journals. Um, so stay tuned for that. Bye-bye.